FX Nation, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. And as you can see, we're looking at Euro USD. We're looking at it on a two hour time frame. Uh, you can see that we are basically coming off a brand new peak formation high. Um, so we should be looking for sells. But we ended up getting a big retracement back. Okay. So I know a lot of times retracements gets a lot of people worried or it gets a lot of people to think differently um, when it comes to trading uh, Forex. So well, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hopefully give you guys how I look at things uh, when this scenario happens. So first things first, what I like to do is with any kind of uh, analysis that I do, I like to look at it from a multi time frame view, right? So I normally just start off with the the euro usd let's say on the weekly now it, it could be the weekly or the daily it doesn't matter you're going to see the same thing but here's what i want you guys to see okay now this is going all the way back to 2003 okay you can see here and that's the end of the the data essentially right you click on the little dinosaur it tells you you made it to the very beginning um but this is not the very beginning we all know that so what we have to do is we have to go through the other chart the ICD chart that actually shows you the very beginning. Um, and you can see here it's ICD on the very top. But this goes back to like the 70s, okay? But really, we only need to go back down, uh, back far enough to like the 2000s era, okay? So if you're looking at this, okay, if you're looking at Euro USD on a weekly, what would be your first guess as to what's going to happen? You know, what do you think is the first guess on... on the directional bias that you should have, the overall directional bias, right? You should have a sell as your directional bias, right? We know what's happening with the economy and the Fed and all that stuff, but just by looking at the chart on the daily or the weekly, your bias should be to look for sells, okay? Now, very importantly on, on this Euro USD, we've already passed all the major areas of structure, okay? The next area of structure is going to be all the way down here. Okay, that's going to be the next area of structure and we're headed down that way. So the, the question is not are we going there? We are going there. The question is, how long is it going to take? Right. And so it's going to take probably a few months to get down into that area. But how can we use this scenario to help us during our daily uh, type of trading that we do, right? Because we trade every day. If there's a trade available, we typically, you know, like to trade every day if it was available. Um, but knowing this, guys, knowing that on the weekly time frame, you're in a sell bias. You're literally in a sell bias. There is no structure to the left until you get uh, to this area down here. Which, by the way, uh, it's going to take you another 13, 1500 pips to get there, guys. Okay, so we got a long ways to go. All right, so we, we're looking for sales for the foreseeable future. Okay, and so when you look at this, you can tie that back into, you know, the Fed and what they're doing with raising interest rates, inflation being out of control, and everything like that. All this stuff, this gives the dollar actual strength. Okay, that's why you see all of the other currencies around the world are losing major value to the dollar. Because at the end of the day, the dollar is the world's currency, reserve currency. All right. So let's get back to how do we use this? So if we're looking for sell setup, guys, should this retracement bother you? Or really, the question is, why would this mini, tiny retracement on a two hour chart bother you? OK, if anything, you, you should be looking at it as an opportunity to get into trades at a better price, at a more discounted price. That's all. Okay, you, you've done everything here correctly, right? So unless it breaks this high up here, which which would make it a reset, which is fine, by the way, because all it's doing is grabbing more orders. Okay, there's going to be orders that market makers need to grab to make that move of 1500 pips. They just don't make it out of out of midair. You know, they need orders. They need to grab more orders. So if this were to be, if this right here were to turn into a reset, 
you know, that's fine because I'm looking then, if it's a reset, I'm looking for where are market makers going to grab orders from? Well, the first thing that I would see is orders that would be, you know, here, orders that would be up here, orders that would be here. Those would be orders where, those would be places where market makers would have orders uh, to go up and grab. Okay, so I wouldn't be shocked or surprised. If anything, I would look forward to price going back up here so I can get a better price on the actual trade. Okay, so multi-session analysis for you guys should give you kind of a, a calm down effect. Because when you look at the higher time frame, you're like, oh, okay, we're just in a downtrend, right? But you, we know that it's just not going to keep going down in a downtrend for, you know, forever, right? It has to have retracements in place, right? We're in a downtrend, but it's got to have retracements in place. It's got to have retracements in place, okay? So we're still looking for sells on Euro USD. That doesn't change, okay? What changes is, okay, when are they going to present... Uh, the sells to us. Are they going to present it now? Because all this is is just a slight pullback. If we put in a fib from the top of the peak formation high to the very bottom of where this started, where are we at? We're right at the 618, right? We're right at where we should be at, okay? The only time that I would worry about a potential reset happening is when price goes up and breaks above here. Or really the seven, you know, the seven eight six. But if you look, right, if price does go back up here, you can see there's structure there. You know? So it's okay. It's not a big deal. Okay, so my potential my bias for this for Euro USD, and I told you for all the dollar pairs, is to see continue to see dollar strength because of what's happening around our, our economy in the US. Okay. So regardless, I'm looking for sell setups on this. That's it. I'm just looking for sell setups. If this were to come back up and break this high here, that's cool. It'll be a reset, okay? But I know the reason that this is happening is because market makers want to grab orders that are up here in these areas in order to take a deeper dive into 1,500 pips, okay? So just understand the bigger picture of why this is going back up or if this resets or, or whatever the case may be understand why by just looking at the higher time frame guys so don't freak out about it or anything like that okay just look at it as a better opportunity that's it look at it as a better opportunity all right but for your usd specifically i'm looking for sales guys it's not going to change okay until we get to this one uh 120 on the dollar index, okay, until we get up here, that's when I would start looking for something else to happen, okay? But you can see we're still on our way. We're going to have retracements and, and all that. That's fine, okay? But no matter what, I'm still, I'm still looking for sells on Euro USD, on, on any dollar pair. I'm looking for dollar strength, okay? So if it's Euro USD, Pound USD, AUD USD, NZD USD, all those I'm looking to sell. If it's USD JPY, USD CAD, USD Swiss, I'm looking to buy those. Okay, for the long run, I'm just looking at them in, in a future long run because you're going to get the same scenario if you go look at all those pairs. Okay, here's another uh, pair to look at as well is Euro Swiss. Same thing if you're doing multi. Uh, time frame analysis, right? If you go up to Euro Swiss on the daily here or on the weekly, okay, look at what you're looking at. What is it that you're looking at, guys? What's the first thing that comes to mind? What are we in? We're in a downtrend, right? And we just broke the very last piece of structure. That's all we had was a little point from uh, from what happened here back in 2015. That's it. We don't have anything else. There is nothing out here, guys. Okay, there's nothing out here. Okay. This is going back to, you know, to 01. But still, even if you pull back the chart that goes further back into the 80s, there's nothing here. Okay, so we're going. We're going into 
a deep dive. This is going deeper. Okay? So if this is going deeper on the lower time frames, what are we looking for? Obviously, right now, we're waiting to see whether or not this wants to break this high here or if it doesn't. If it breaks this high here, this is going to be a reset, and that's fine. We start to we can continue to look for buys. If this holds, then this is a new peak formation uh, peak formation high, and we start to look for sells. That's it. Okay, that's it. But the important thing, if in this in these scenarios like this, is to wait out and see what price action does. You're not a magician. You're not a wizard, right? Nobody knows whether this is going to go up or down. Okay, and I don't care if it goes up or down. That's not my. That's not my scenario. I don't care if it goes up or down. I don't care if it's a reset. I don't care if it's a failed reset. I just wanted to pick one so then I could trade with it. That's it. Okay? So when you get into situations like this, don't get frustrated. Just wait. Let this thing play out and let it show you what it's going to do if it's a reset or a failed reset. Either way, it shouldn't matter to you. You shouldn't care. Okay? There's going to be other pairs that you can trade that are coming off brand new peaks right that are not in this kind of scenario you have 28 other pairs that you can trade you're telling me that all 28 pairs are in this scenario right now waiting for either a failed reset or, or, or a reset to happen no right there's gonna be other pairs that are coming off of brand new peaks uh, that you can trade and that's the case that's what you should do that's what I do is I go look at other pairs and then once this makes this move cool then I'm like all right cool I'll go ahead and start buying now or cool I'll go ahead and start selling that's it stop making it more difficult than what it really is okay so hope you enjoyed this video guys on multi-session uh time frame analysis if you like this video just give me a like on the video guys subscribe to the channel um and if you want to see any kind of uh you know analysis on your pairs that you frequently trade comment it below guys if you like this kind of content um, let me know as well in the comments below because I do like to create this type of content I think is very useful uh, to you guys so hopefully you like it uh, for those of you asking about my charts these charts are literally my charts that I share with everyone on FXM plus so if you're not very good with directional bias FXM plus is going to be uh, you know what you want uh, to help you all right. Everything is in the link in the description, guys. Thank you so much and have a great rest of your day. Guys, if you need any more help or you like the content that we provide on this channel, come on over to the FXN Masterclass. It's available right now. What you get essentially is a lifetime membership, a full mentoring course, an advanced course. You get the Blue Summit videos, weekly Q&A sessions every Sunday. Uh, group session archives, which that by alone has about a hundred hours of content, weekly analysis videos, midweek analysis videos, MT4 and MT5 indicators, a customized trading journal, so you could actually journal your trades every day, and then a back testing journal that you can use to back test and collect all of your data. Not to mention a mentoring private chat, guys. So. All the information is in the link in the description if you want to join now. We look forward to seeing you there, guys, and take care of yourselves.